hope that you continue to see things clearer and understand that I know exactly what I'm talking about. And I'll keep waiting. For a woman who's never satisfied, Alan, why bother? You know, most men would be repulsed by this infatuation that you had with Philip. But I'm not threatened at all. Sad, disappointed. Yes. But you see, I understand why you did it. Because I understand you. That's why I love you. When I'm with you, I do have it all. Alan. I hate to say this because there was something to what we had, but I had Philip. And I'm not going to come running back because I know I can't have him now. You're already forgetting. I know you better than you know yourself. I didn't, I didn't miss him, did no, I? No, 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 Rick said that he's bringing him down. Okay, that's it, I need to go away from the father. Oh, he's no. me absolutely crazy. Oh, hey, guys. Hey. Hey. He's, he's, you know, he's doing really good. He's doing really good. Actually, I think he'll be out in the hallway. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, well, can we just spend one minute with him? Yeah, can we just, 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 right, can I just, just, just real quick, okay? So he knows we're here. We need to get him down there. Okay. okay. that you wore Aunt Mel and a bunch of the nurses out. You're gonna, they're so tired, they're gonna have to go home and go to bed themselves. And you're gonna go home and have your own bed very soon, baby. We love you. Mommy and Daddy love you so much. Yeah. And you're gonna be going home very soon. From what I can see, Zach is doing great. So okay. there's no infections, no fevers, anything? No, so far everything's normal. We want to Thank you so much for everything you have done now. Oh, well, I'm just trying to help. Mm, no, you're just trying to help me just saving his life by no getting deal. him into surgery so fast last night. <laughs> well, Zach deserves a lot of the credit. You guys have a very strong little boy. Mm. I guess that shouldn't surprise me, seeing who his parents are. <laughs> Well, how was Jude? Did he get to bed okay last oh, night? Oh, yeah, he was fine. Rick is actually coming by this afternoon for uh, him to see you. Oh, good, good. Yeah. Well, you know what? I've got to go finish my rounds, but I'll be back in to check in later, okay? I'll be here. Okay. All right. No, thanks, Bye. Did you hear that? Did you hear what Aunt Mel said? She said, you're doing great. Yeah, just keep up the good work, buddy. And pretty soon, you're going to be going home. That's right. You're going to be messing around the snow mm -hmm. and playing with your friends and having your mommy tuck you into bed at night. Don't worry. Didn't forget what I promised you last night. Neither did I. I <laughs> got plans for this kid, mm -hmm. okay? I got dreams for him. So do I. Well, ours may be a little bit different. 
I'm sure you're planning to get him into the Spalding Air Training Program as soon as possible. Work on the next family tycoon. Oh, yeah, because it's certainly brought me such infinite joy. Well, if you're so bored or disappointed or whatever, why don't you get away from it all? Get away from Alan. I tried that. It didn't work. I don't think they covered that in my training program. I don't care. I don't care about any of it. All I want is that one of these days we raise him so that if he needs to, he looks me in the eye and he tells me to go to hell if I deserve it. Well, I actually have a training program for that <laughs> if you wanted to. <laughs> God knows you have the credentials. <laughs> Just make sure you do that with Gus. If he deserves it, absolutely. Okay. I think Gus would respect that for speaking his mind. I hope so. Oh, wait a minute. What was that? <laughs> what was that? He's been doing that. Are you here? Buddy, you want to open your eyes? Look who's here. Hi. So you want to say hi? Hi. How are you feeling? <laughs> It's supposed to be. That's what they say. Gus, I know that um, you're probably aware of the fact that Harley and I came to uh, an arrangement about Zach. Um, and I would, I'd like to try to do the same thing with you. Um, I, you know, if you, if you want to fight me. I'm not fighting with anybody, pal, okay? I'm just watching a woman and her child. Okay, fair enough. Zach is my son. Oh, yes, Philip. We all know Zach is no, your no, son. Hang on a second. Right? Please, just give me a second. That's not what I'm trying to tell you. Um, Zach is going home with Harley. Right? That's the way I want it. All I want to do is make sure that when he gets there, things are okay for him. Why wouldn't they be okay? I'm not saying that they won't be. I'm sure they will. And it's all right. It's okay. I'll know. I'll be watching. Watching me, you mean? No, I... Did not specifically That's exactly say. what you meant. Okay, you, can I can I try this again, please? Look, my my son nearly died last night, right? And and one of the main reasons that he's in as good a shape as he is right now, a very big reason, is you. I acknowledge that, and I am grateful for it. But at the same time. He has still got a very long road of recovery ahead. At his mother's house, where I will be lurking oh, around. Oh, come on. So, Why are you making this so damn hard? It doesn't have to be that way. It doesn't. All, no, it doesn't. Because all I really care about, all I've cared about from the beginning, is my son's health. All right? I, I just don't want anything else to hurt him again in any way. In any way. Right. In any way, which is your subtle hint to tell me to watch my step. Is that it? So your grand gesture to Harley about giving her custody, all of that, that's just, that could be temporary. No, that's, no. I made a promise to her last night. I intend to keep it. Zach needs to be with his mother. Oh, it's a miracle. He gets it. He gets it. Okay. Yes, I do. I do get it. I also get the fact that the two of you are together and that you're staying together. There's nothing I can do about that. That's fine. But yes, he's my son. I will be watching you. Let me ask you something. Do you just not trust me? Is that what it is? Should I? Well, you did last night, when your son's life was at stake. You're right. So, use this as another opportunity to prove me wrong. I would love for you to prove me wrong. Because if you don't, if you hurt my son in any way, there will be hell to pay. Like dragging Harley back to the courts, that type of thing, and so much for your promise, right? I don't want that to happen. No, but it could happen. See, it could happen. And that's the problem with Spalding promises. They all come with little strings attached to them, actually chains. Let me ask you something. Did it affect you last night? What happened to your son? Did it affect you? Of course it did. It's a shame it didn't stay that way, because today, you're right back to being the same jerk that you always were. What is going on out here? I can see you both through the glass. Everything's fine. What's going on? <laughs>